What is up, everyone? We are continuing on with Witcher 3. It's getting interesting, so I'm just gonna jump into it. We found some a treasure map, so I think I'm gonna start with trying to look for that. And then we're gonna head back with Vesemir to hopefully track down Yennefer. So let's jump into it. How far is this? <laughs> I might need Roach. <laughs> Roach, come here. I guess I'm keeping the griffin head. Give it no one took it. <laughs> Run, Roach. It's mine now. No one gets it back. What is going on there? They're guarding a chest. I kind of want it. I want the chest. Stealing all of this. Ooh, lesser glyph of art. Oil. Damn. You know, I'm glad that I, that I did that. Oh, did I grab it? No. Ruby dust. Diamond dust. Holy. Oh, that was definitely worth it. What's with all these weird things? Will that hurt if I go in? <coughs> Gas clouds in the swampy area are poisonous. Watch out. Here you can see all buffs currently affecting your character. Oh, I see. Ow. Oh. Keep that in mind. I think I can... Burn it all. Oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, maybe there's something hiding in these ones. I'm gonna go find out. Like something drowning. Don't tell me it's more drowners. Oh, it is. <laughs> does this come back? Oh, it does come back. Oh, so that just gets rid of it for a moment. Okay. Ow! Okay, don't stand too close to it. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> Wait, how far is this? I guess maybe not that far. I guess we'll find out. Move it. Let's see. Oh, what's this? One shot? One shot? One shot. Like, I genuinely don't know. Oh, the key. I found the key. <laughs> it was the key. I'm out of here. There's still stuff around here. It's, you know, I'm, uh, I'm scared. I'm leaving. <laughs> After I got one shot, I, I don't want to fight it. <laughs> I had like 75 to 80 percent of my health, and I got one shot. <laughs> I'm terrified. Kings do the fighting. Any tidings from Vizima? Oh, peasants do the dying. Yes, this is good. It's got to be the the key, right? I should probably read it if it's even the key that I need. <laughs> Shit, I actually need to go up there. Come on, I'm lost. The Temerian Lily Key. Huh. Well, maybe this is... The mill. Well, I guess we'll just find out. <laughs> if it is or not. It might be. It might not be. 
Uh, who are you? Wait, what's happening here? Deserter? Right, me lovers, to work! <laughs> Holy hell! Plow yourself! How do I? What? I Lost your nerve? <laughs> Trying to get behind me. Come on. What are you guys even Pull doing here? Oh. oh, nice. I didn't fall off the ledge. <laughs> I just made him fall over. What a tiny axe, so. Okay, he's fast. <laughs> oh, a rope ladder. My axe now. I'm gonna kill your last friend in a second after I lean all your bodies. Ah, that one's too far down. <laughs> I'll grab it later. Chicken sandwich? I'm gonna take that. Fight in your guts, eh? Ha! You'll never learn. Get him! Come! You bring a bow to a sword fight? <laughs> that was epic. <laughs> Small blackjack. Interesting. What are you doing in my area, huh? I found this first. There's another person? To work. This is a bad shape repair, otherwise it won't work well. Well, I wasn't expecting to fight anyone, okay. I have to repair it already. Oh god. So this has to be the spot. This has to be the key. It is! Marion Rye, Marion Special Forces Insignia, Scribbled Document, Crowns, and Nickel Guardian Sword. Himmy, no wonder we're losing this war. With cowardly <laughs> for soldiers, all it took were a few arrows and a wallop of maize for seasoning, and that was that. Battling was over and the whole convoy was ours for the picking. Maybe they were having such a hard time of it because of all that vodka they were carrying. Our brave warriors must have taken a sip from time to time, with obvious results. When you're seeing double, it's damn hard to hit your target. Take everything we've gathered to the cubby, then fence it quick as you can, except that showy para par <laughs> parade shit. You'll have to bury and burn that. I reckon someone might recognize the insignia, and then they'd be in trouble. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I gotta go fix my sword now because it's broken. It's also nighttime, so I'm just gonna do a quick meditation to mourn. Don't mind me. How's my sword already almost broken? Roach. There you are. Hey ya. Uh. Can you return customer? Welcome. What can I do for you this time? Um. Like you to forge something for me.
So is that one? Okay. Cool, so it's good now, right? Should so be good. Long. Thank you. Okay, so it's just over here. I didn't know that was a castle. Why are the bees all over this? That is not the right thing. Well, I guess that worked also. It knocked it off. A pearl? A broken ore. I'm sure I needed that. <laughs> Some leather straps. Nice. look like before it was all broken. So I'm searching around here, huh? Oh, there's people here. Oh, shit. Damn it. Are they looking for the treasure, too? Is there a better way around this? I want to be on top. God damn it, this is like the worst. What is this ledge? <laughs> How is there not a way up? I'm off here. Hmm. Not just any of this. This is where they used to be, clearly. One of their old camps. Was saved before I inevitably die somewhere randomly by getting one shot. Oh. Oh, interesting. Now I'll never have to think about it again. Okay, there should be that bridge that I saw. Another battleground area. Oh, that's interesting. Well, that things did not end well for you. go that way to get up here okay are you ready I'm just gonna use fire come this way Goodbye. Thanks for that. What are you guys holding over here? I'll be taking it all. A dumpling? Nice. Some string. This is definitely the way. Oh, got it. I feel like I heard another bear or something. Oh no, it's just some wolves. So I gotta get up here now, somehow. Unless I had to go from down there. No, there's gotta be a way from up here. Maybe not. Maybe that was the only way to get up there. Get up the whore, son's eyes. Get out of here. Good. 
said bye. You were guys were such a pain to get to. So I'm glad you're gone. I don't know what that is, but I'm not taking it. Maybe I will take it. Ooh, leather. Another chicken sandwich. Who's making the chicken sandwiches, huh? Well, this is the spot, right? A vial. Oh, nice. <laughs> Lovely. Angry scrawled notes. What am I supposed to fucking die for? Tamaria? The died for that? So did my three brothers, and what'd that get them? Fuck all. That's what. Not even a decent burial. That always was a wise man learns from others' mistakes. So here I am, learning from his. And instead of dying for Tamaria, I'm gonna rob those who killed Tamaria's sons. We've pitched a camp and got us a great spot, middle of the woods, near the old mill. Now we're all set to go on our first raid. So they were the deserters. Interesting. Lesser glyph. Interrogation report and serpentine steel sword. Location Amat Fortress. Persons partaking. Underlings. The Witcher Colgrim stands accused of kidnapping Vidi, son of Paul, a beekeeper residing in White Orchid. Suspect of detained pending trial upon de detention, he was searched in. A diagram for the forging of a steel sword was found on his person. It is suspected that this sword was used to intimidate or possibly kill the kidnapped child. It is likely, likewise suspected that the accused possesses such other diagrams for the forging of death-dealing Im implements. Though none have been found to date, Sir Ignatius has requested the Witcher undergo preliminary inter interrogation with the, with the apl <laughs> application of torture. This will take place once torturer with the proper qualifications has been found. You need proper qualifications to be a torturer. <laughs> Addendum. Um, it was later discovered drowners were responsible for the boy's disappearance. Unfortunately, Colgrim died before this information reached the investigators. For Rather than face the Baronet's judgment, he chose trial by ordeal. Sir Ignatius agreed and ordered he cleanse the... Various family crypt of specters. Colgrim never emerged from said crypt. It is highly likely that multirally raised specters and evil powers residing therein proved too much for him. That is so sad. <sighs> well, I got that. And we got the 17 steel sword, which I already crafted, right? Oh, it was a serpentine silver sword and then the serpentine steel sword. I get it. It's all coming together. This one's pretty good already. Ooh, that one's like really good. My told me about the What happened board. to your Nad mom? Was missing one day, so folk nabbed a witchman that was hunting nearby. Started poking him, asking when he started twisting and swearing. Oh, you're inside now. Sorry, I can't. Oh, there you are. I'll rip off your melon and shit down your neck! What the hell? Son of a goat! Come to Pappy! <laughs> Dude, they're crazy. <laughs> Yennefer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so. Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. Yeah, I was gonna say that. <laughs> Who are they? Patriots. Drinking their seventh round for Tamaria, fists starting to itch. Don't see any enough guardians. <laughs> we'll find another foe. I'll buy some provisions for the journey, then we'll go. Geralt, we should stay out of it just this once. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took them down? To hang a golden sun there now? I cannot show Tamerian colors. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fond of the Imperials? You Nilfgaard's whore? I'll let that pass. 
I know grief eats at your heart. You no know shit. They hang my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let my sister go. attending to the birth. No. And you don't oh. fear the gods' wrath. You don't oh. fear it, you cunt! Oh, Let me be! Recognize this medallion? You know what it means. Back off. You all right? They say witches steal young'uns. That true. What'd the Emperor promise you, freaks? Your own land? Like he did the elves once? Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. And neither are you. They won't back down now. I can see that. Wasn't even a it's all right. It's over. Leave me be! Get away! Wait, so you're fine bashing someone's head into the table, but when their head comes off, all See of a sudden face. you're God scared? Save us. Be gone. And don't ever come back. Aw, now everyone's scared. We should at least take the bodies out. So much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. Hey, they wanted to fight us. What, what is this, huh? No, oh, great. That brawl? We didn't start it. Ooh. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Y yen How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. I wasn't <laughs> expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? You didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. Spent the last six months in the saddle. Haven't seen you for two years. Can we take a moment Sadly, to- Sadly, we cannot. Someone awaits you, Geralt. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate oh, terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. For as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well? Now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse? I didn't. Though I could have. Hmm. Must have been a damn good offer then. Not many things you'd give up your freedom for. And even fewer people. The sooner we set off, the sooner you'll find out. Hmm. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Care Morhen, remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. Aww. Did How's you take your care horse? Of Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. Hmm. Well, this is interesting. Why is she with them? What 
did they offer? Hmm. And why is she in such a rush to get back? I don't know. I got a bad feeling. You know, I had a dream about you recently. Knowing you, it was probably filthy. <laughs> Just the beginning. But then. But then. Uh... Right now! So they're part of. Same ones that showed up in the dream. We'll talk of this tomorrow, all right? After the audience. Vizima, capital of the occupied Temeria. This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She deluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. Hmm. Oh, looks like I got my bath. <laughs> hmm. It must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the bergère. The what now? In that chair. Why? What are you gonna do? Catwin, please shave the gentleman's sideburns oh, to half an inch. What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. Tilt your head back, please. And sit still. And prepare to answer some questions. General, I, I am not certain this is the appropriate time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade at their throat. And you are... Morvran Voris, commander of the Alba Division. Before they take you in to see the Emperor, Witcher, there's some information I need you to verify. It's a formality. But one that must be seen to. Sure. Paperwork's gotta be in order. So, Geralt of Rivia. Place of birth unknown. Parents unknown. Age unknown. All insignificant details. Let us proceed to more recent events. The siege of La Valette Castle. The fate of the defending commander one Arian. Hmm. So this must be from the other games? <laughs> I 
guess I'll just pick. <laughs> Spared his life, he escaped. Hmm. Wonder how much it'll change. We fought on opposing sides, true. Then we landed in the same dungeon. Mm. Arian escaped, set fire to the castle on his way out. Ah. So that is how the blade started. Our reports suggested the dragon was responsible. Moving on. You then found shelter in charming Flotsam, and from there made your way to Vergen. My question is how? Hopefully this isn't too impactful. <laughs> I feel like it should probably be fine to pick either, right? I'll just... I left Flotsam with Yorvith, commander of a Squiatel unit. A slayer of monsters and a slayer of men. You forge interesting alliances. Something tells me my most interesting is yet to come. Go on, next question, before my beard grows back <laughs> in. We shall shave you again if it does. Very well. The infamous summit at Loch Muin. You were there. And once again meddled in the affairs of the mighty. The mighty had imprisoned Triss Marigold. Ought to know I care about her. And I tend to rescue those I care about. And so you did, handing Radovid control of the Conclave Miracle? and Council of Mages in the process. Nilfgaard recently started a war, unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. The gentleman must sit still. I'm almost done. I'm afraid I might find that difficult. Because, from what I know, shortly afterwards you watched a defective megascope blow your friend Sheila de Tanserville to bits. <laughs> I watched her get in the megascope, but ultimately freed her from the trap your man Letho of Gullet had set. Write that down. I want to be sure the paperwork's in order now. Well, national interest calls on one to forge difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches included. Hmm. That an ongoing alliance? What's Letho up to? I had hoped you would answer Letho. that question. Ah, so Letho's hiding from you. Must have a good reason. Was there a shift in national interest that might have caused that? I don't know where he is. Wouldn't tell you if I did anyway. Blade or no blade to my throat. I believe that is all. Your signature, please, affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth on pain of imprisonment or death, etc., etc. Here and here. With these formalities seen to, I would ask the general to leave the room. We shall be choosing the gentleman's attire. An important matter but one that does not require the general's assistance. Shame. I might have given you some advice. Yeah, I don't think so. So long, Geralt. Not with Good that luck neck. with your audience. <laughs> not a fan of your outfit. <laughs> God, what are they gonna dress me up in? If I look ridiculous, I swear. Feels more like I'm being readied for a wedding. <laughs> that so, I would have prepared the gentleman a frock, a tailcoat, or possibly a dinner jacket. Oh, I get to choose? In point of fact, the gentleman will choose from these garments. Oh, nice. Where are my clothes? Where they should have gone long ago, with the laundress. 
They will be returned to you after the audience, clean and starched. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. You don't mind, do you? Oh, a sword for witches. Who are the hunters, you ask? Folk like you and yours, I reply. The decent kind, haters of liars, doers of good, the kind who lives according to the gods and laws, and nature's laws too, those disgusted by the uh, machinations of witches, magickers of non-humans. All that separates us from common folk is what we've the courage to take up arms, to defend our lands from evil, to slice out the gangrene that eats us from within. We haven't a leader, we haven't forts or land, though God's fearing Radavoid, eh, Radavoid supports us with his gold at times. We've not sworn him nor any other ruler on any oath. We serve only eternal fire and we listen only to our own conscience. Who can join us? Any who is right of soul and sound of body, you can find us in every larger city in the north. We will give you board lodging and weapon and we will explain how to spot the telltale signs of evil, birthmarks and strange and arcane shapes, smooth skin on matron aged more than 30 springs, and black cats kept in the yard, to name but a few. We will show you how to defend yourself from witchcraft, how to tame and snuff out magic elements and Demetrium. We will instruct you how to squeeze the sinner's darkest secrets out of them with a hot iron, and how to grant them cleansing death with the help from sacred fire. That's terrifying. Wait, is this new? My dear friend, I had a feeling we wouldn't have a chance to talk before Vizima. So I leave you this message. I know there's much we both wish to say, but there will be come a time for that later. In any case, a letter is no place to broach topics of such importance to us both. So why I write you now? You have something waiting for you at the Royal Palace of Vizima. Consider it a gift from M here and myself. You can pick it up at your leisure from after your audience with him. When you exit the throne room, simply follow the covered walkway in the courtyard turning right at the corner, then take the first door on your left, you'll be inside a chamber with a fireplace. Take the door in the back right to the adjoining room. There, under the window, you'll find the chest with your gift. But in case these directions prove too complicated for you, I'm certain the Chamberlain would not hesitate to lead you there himself. Expert tracker that you are, however, I expect you'll manage. Interesting, okay. After my audience, huh? I'll read that one later. A shame I have no time. Why, you wanna cut off my hair too, huh? I'm taking all your bread. What are you gonna do about it? A mug. <laughs> nice. A ready meal. Directly out of Nordling Tales. Inconceivable. Madonna. I'm almost ready. Damn it. Fine. I guess I have to pick an outfit. I guess I shouldn't walk out in a towel. <laughs> okay, let's look at these. Definitely not the middle one. That one... They're all very similar. Hmm. I'm gonna do this one. <sighs> Let's see. What if I just take them all? Now they're all mine. And what are you going to do about it? Am 
man. Oh, these are all the same. So many things. Did you take my weapons? And they say clothes do not make the man. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? I guess. A studded doublet and a sword on my back. That's what would satisfy me. <laughs> True. But tough. When in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. I'm not some boar. I know how to bow. Please, demonstrate. <laughs> that, sir, is how you might bow to a whore on a street corner. Not to the Emperor of Nilfgaard. Please watch. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. That is so The gentleman excessive. will rehearse. <laughs> Oh shit. Hmm. Lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. Well, we did it. The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Your Arch Magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Till shore evai. Hmm. I guess I'll go forward for now. So many places yes, to can. go, though. That's good. And I want to see them all. Besides, I want to know what that gift was. Oh, I thought we'd be in some like huge in grimy ballroom. In carn eb marvut, emir var emres. Bow. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep the order. Valian namin, vat gun favot. Hmm. So You're many months at Faltest Court, yet you still haven't mastered the basics of etiquette. Know what they say? Can't teach an old wolf new tricks. <laughs> <laughs> Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla. She's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You just will like, find her and bring just her like to his me. dream. Oh, so... That's... His... That's his daughter. Well, isn't this a development? Because in the description of her, it said that uh, Geralt was basically her father. <laughs> or to her, to him, she was basically his child. Are you sure? Siri left, went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yennefer will do that after the audience. Oh my god. His voice is, um... <laughs> He's got the voice of, uh... I swear, I, I, don't, I don't know if it's true, but he sounds just like uh, Tywin Lannister. <laughs> How many men in your army? 
20,000, 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's she looks so angry in that picture. <laughs> last years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Hmm. Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Siri, not for your gold. Your motives do not interest me. Only results. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress. Hmm. Well, this is interesting. Did the general not understand? Did I not emphasize adequately that one must bow to the emperor? Whoopsie. Relax. Nothing happened. <laughs> to the gentleman. But I shall be punished. How? Please keep close and bother no one. We've had enough breaches of etiquette for one day. Well, I'm sorry. We're going to have to do one more thing. Where was it? It was... Okay. When you exit the throne room... Is this the throne room? I'm guessing. Simply follow the covered walkway into the courtyard. Turning right at the corner. Okay. Is it the covered walkway? Okay, that's rude. Where's the courtyard? I'm so confused. <laughs> Damn, doors just open for you, huh? First thing in the morning, the and it's past noon. Oh, uh, this is the in what? What? Do you know who you're talking to, soldier? I'm Herivard II, Prince of Elanda. Not only am Regent. I made to wait here like some supplicant, but with who for company? A tinter. A witcher. How does one hunt that oh, sort of... Oh, that's just perfect. Is Griffin. the gentleman not in a hurry to you see You seem the nice. You seem so angry. Oh. Hmm? Hmm? Hmm. Intriguing. <laughs> That's rude, man. Everyone's so rude. The scene as far as Novigrad? Yeah. Ah, nein. Rad slitten ech enekt es tun es saur an nein fire. Es sieht ebs. Eb finster nein macht. Es wird der. Er der. Is that going to be the courtyard? Okay, follow this. The covered thing. Okay, um, you're going that way. The gentleman will have time for a stroll later. Please stay with me. Okay, okay, it's after the audience. Okay. Maybe I will stay with yes, him. Yes, Queen. I thought I already had. I thought that was the audience. <laughs> Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Evain Kersher is Dithwin Adam in Khan at Morfold. right. And the first door on the left. Man, I'm so ah! sorry. Didn't mean to bump in, Nia. It said follow in the courtyard, follow this. <laughs> Maybe I need to go go in here first. And then turn right. This is a dead end. Shaganatuvin. Store. Unless it's just talking about the door that I have to go into. That's the only one that makes sense. There's a fire. There is a fireplace. Yes. 
and transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchants' guild, but the church of the eternal this place looks fire cool. and the criminal underworld. At times, it is difficult to tell the one from the other. They both display a similar ruthlessness and cynicism that. Please wait, Your Excellency. I'm falling behind. You know what? I'll write the report myself. You'll need only prepare a clean draft. In triplicate. Another. Who's hiding dumplings in there? Ooh, uh, smoking. Um. A okay. shame. I need to see where this is. Okay. Inside you'll be a chamber with a fireplace. Take the door in the back right to the adjoining room. There under the window you'll find a chest. Okay, the back right. Um oh! Okay, well maybe I gotta be in here anyway. Geralt! <laughs> tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Mm-hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Mm. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. Wow. So his dream was when she was really young. How about that? She's grown up. It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morn. A great deal has changed. You haven't. Not a bit. <laughs> I missed those awkward compliments of yours. <laughs> But let's focus on Siri, all Aww. right? He seems so alive. Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the wild hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd tricked them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt. Before the Wild Hunt does. The Wild Hunt? What could it want from Siri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. <laughs> I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood. Her gift. As for what the hunt wishes to do with that gift, I'd... I'd prefer not to think about it, really. So where has Siri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Tris Merigold. Apparently Ooh. she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Mm. Yen, I'd lost my memory. Really? Oh. That's your excuse? 
Oh, let's this. drop it, all right? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. Ooh. So he lost his memory, fell in love with someone else, but then got it back. Oh, that's so... That's a very awkward situation. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Velen, get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me in one piece. Ooh. I shall be waiting. Okay, the window. Goodbye. <laughs> Yennefer, my dear friend, thank you for your letter. Forgive me for not answering your earlier attempt to reach me via mess megascope. I'm trying to limit my magic communication to the absolute minimum. One never knows who's listening, don't you agree? I'm delighted you have found a position at our gracious emperor's court and wish you the best of luck in searching for his daughter. It is good to know that Emir's intentions for her have become more... How shall I put it? Mundane. Perhaps in these circumstances, an agreement regarding the lodge will prove possible after all. In response to your first question, I can state beyond all doubt that Siri has not appeared anywhere south of Yaruga. Believe me, I could recognize her magic signature in my sleep. I have not had any contact with Triss for a long time. I only know that things in Novigrad have taken a ill turn. She mentioned something earlier about fleeing to Kovir, but I'm afraid in the current political climate, that amounts to an impossible daydream. I hope I will soon be able to join you in Vizima. First, however, I must take care of some unfortunate yet urgent matters in Buclair. With my fondest regards, Fringilla Vigo. Under the window... Is the window, right? Damn it. Hmm. So that's her now. Scars healed nicely. I feel like I have so many of those. <sighs> I'll read this after. She who knows. Under this window. Ooh, letter found in Yennefer's chest. Nine-tailed vixen steel sword. Nine tail silver sword, and then a ton of armor. My dear friend, if you're reading this, it means you found the chest I mentioned in my previous letter. You'll be pleased to know its contents belong to you. After I spoke with the Emperor regarding additional resources to aid in your quest, he's willing to part with these items for his personal collection. Although he's stubbornly cryptic regarding their origins, he did mention they were diplomatic gifts from distant kingdoms. The tiger armor is specifically designed to suit a western ruler, obviously a mirror in this case. It was forged in the ancient style of a blacksmith who stole the secrets of its construction from their gods, or so the legend goes. The sword, to my eye, resembles Redanian saber. 
Though I'm not an expert, these blades supposedly once belonged to a hero of myth and mystery. A man forged a pact with a vixen spirit and through her blessing was granted the ability to slay monsters that had long plagued his village. As a nose, he carries both a steel and silver sword and as a fact I thought might pique your interest. Unfortunately, legends are all that I can offer. As I said, Amir was stingy with the details, even more so than usual. It's a shame because, I must admit, I have not the faintest idea where they might originate. That being said, I do believe Zerikania and Ophir can safely be ruled out. Dear friend, I trust you will appreciate my efforts to help. Use these gifts as you see fit. I hope they will hasten your search for that which we have lost, your friend, Yennefer. East oil. A lot of good stuff here. I have to read a lot of those books. Well, this has been a crazy part. That was a lot to take in. So the wild hunt is after Siri, who is Amir's daughter. So it's all coming together. Apparently she has special blood, which is interesting. Um, looks like Yennefer is also joined for that same reason. No wonder it was an offer that she didn't refuse. Looks like we've learned a lot, a lot about Geralt as well and how he had someone else that he loved as well when he lost his memory. But now that he has that memory back, I guess he probably got torn between the two. That would be really rough. I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> I'm excited to continue more in the next one. I am loving this so far, like holy. I'm having a blast just exploring, doing side missions, doing main missions. I'm just having an absolute blast. So I'm, I'm glad you guys are enjoying it too. And I hope that we can continue this journey for a long time. Since you guys say it's a long game, I'm, I'm ready for that. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Huge thanks to all my patrons. Have a nice night, everyone.